Hi guys, welcome to another owner's review done by Martin the vlogger. Today we will talk about this professional motorbike hoodie from the company called Trilobit. This model it's 761 Elenius and I'm riding with it for about four or five months now and in today's video you will find out the temperatures and conditions and then the roads I took and where I feel comfortable and where not. Uh, we will talk about basic characteristics and all of the features that this hoodie has and at the end I'll tell you all the pros and cons I have found out during this extended period of testing. Because this is an honest review, I have to tell you two things. First, I do wear also Trilobit jeans and I do like Trilobit company. I do have several of these motorbike jeans and I do wear them ever since I have bought my bike. So yeah, I like this company. Second, I have received this hoodie from the Trilobit for free to do the review for them, but you cannot buy Martin the vlogger. So I took some extra time to test it, to understand it, so I can bring you my honest experience. And yeah, I will share with you pros and also the cons of this hoodie. Now, if you are not a subscriber, it would be awesome if you hit the subscribe button and click on the notifications on. It's a really great feature because every time I make a new video, you are notified. And now enough of this, let's get started. Now let's start with the main features and characteristics of this hoodie. Uh, it is made from uh, cotton in combination with polyester, that's all fine. But because this is a professional motorbike hoodie, high performance hoodie, um, it has Kevlar aranid fibers inside. Uh, long story short, it keeps your skin at the place where it should be when you will fall down from the motorbike or something happens to you. Now in case we will stick with the safety features, uh, the hoodie comes up with several protectors. There are CE uh, certified, I think it's level two. In case you would like to find out a little bit more about this uh, Europe certification, uh, you can find out more on Martin the Vlogger. The link is down there in the description or it's popping up right over here. What I like about Trilobit products is that you can always include or exclude these uh, protectors. There are elbow protectors, arm, I'm wearing it here. That's the only protectors I'm wearing. It's against rocks, I believe, and flies. And you can put or insert one in the back. Uh, you can insert this back protector in two ways. Uh, first one is that it will be visible. The second one is that it will be not visible. And the reason why I'm not wearing protectors, well, I'm a different rider and I'm never wearing protectors because I have a tricycle or three-wheeler, there is a low chance that I will fall down. And if somebody will hit me... Okay, next thing is you have three pockets. At least this is what I have read on their website. You're supposed to have three pockets. I have found out only two. Uh, I was really searching because of the purpose of this video for the third one. Uh, I don't know where it is. Maybe it's anti-theft pocket and supposed to be not visible. Maybe I have some kind of prototype that the Trilobit has sent to me, but I have found out only two, but that's plenty for me. Another cool feature is it's this extended sleeve. You can wear it like this. It's, it's connected to the sleeve. So there is no wind basically going under, under the sleeve or through the sleeve and you just put the glove on. I believe this can be a nice feature for many riders. Another feature that this uh, hoodie has, it's the, it's the belt inside, so you can put it around you, so the hoodie sticks nicely uh, to you. Um, I never used it, and I, will never, I never will probably, but it's there for someone who, who is a little bit more skinny. I'm two meter tall guy, 115 kilograms, and I'm wearing double XL, and the hoodie is nicely, you know, around me when I'm riding. There is no, it's not waving or something. It's really like, it sticks to your body. And every Trilobit product, it's kind of skinny, but on the other hand, it's very comfortable. And why it is very comfortable is because of these stretch materials. You know, hopefully you can see them, but they are here around your, your elbows and uh, arms and right over here. And it's the same thing as they, I think maybe it's a patent of Trilobit, I don't know, but they have these stretch fabrics around on their jeans and also they have implemented it to this hoodie. And why it is very good is because you feel very comfortable when you need to lean on the bike, when you need to do different movements, everything is really like, like super comfortable. And you know, I, that's the reason, that's the primary actually reason why I went for a Trilobit jeans. And this is what I like on a, on a Trilobit hoodie as well. And probably the rain is coming. 
what else we have here oh yeah there is a, a reflective material they work with a 3m uh, company and if you are coming to the main road from the from the side it's good that there is some kind of reflective um, fabric on you so people can see you it's always good when you are visible but what I also like is that it's not here because it must be there it's here because it also looks good and I absolutely do love it now to the type of roads and temperatures and uh, you know conditions that I like and when I was feeling comfortable and where not uh, actually this kind of weather it's where I don't feel comfortable and <laughs> I will tell you why uh, I'm riding with this for about four or five months as I said I start to ride uh, at the end of the last season and I'm continuing in the, at the beginning of this one and the temperatures I, I start to ride in this hoodie around let's say when there is outside like 13 14 15 degrees I just do wear the the functional or thermal underwear call it as you like t-shirt and then I wear this hoodie when there are these kind of low temperatures I also do use a windstopper under this hoodie uh, that I have from a different jacket and I'm feeling really comfortable not super super warm but I still feel like I can ride as with this you know where I feel comfortable because of the wind that you absorb and because of the temperatures it's important to understand that on this type of bike I usually do ride around 120 30 140 kilometers per hour I'm just saying like highly hypothetically I'm riding in these speeds because this is legally not correct to say it and also, uh, as you can see, I don't have any really uh, wind protector or windshield over there. So the, so the jacket or the hoodie needs to absorb quite a lot of wind and it's coping with it really, really good. Now, when the temperatures has rise from 20 to, let's say, 26 uh, degrees uh, Celsius, I was really comfortable. I didn't wear the windstopper, just the t-shirt and the, the long sleeve underwear. Now anything about, uh, I wasn't really experiencing temperatures over let's say 34, but around 30-ish, uh, it started to get warm in this hoodie and yeah, you need to hit the bike, hit the road in order to a little bit calm down the temperatures but everybody who rides the bikes you know how it is uh, with with the jackets or motorbike gear many of times you need to hit the bike hit the road in order to feel comfortable honestly I wouldn't really wear this hoodie anything about 32 degrees because it's gonna be way too way too warm as for a type of trips and type of you know distances that I was wearing this hoodie uh, many of the users of of this hoodie this trilobit hoodie will buy it because of the urban rides for a coffee you know uh, for a lunch afternoon rides in a city me personally i don't care i took it for a 100 kilometer ride and i took it for a 400 kilometer ride like today i don't care i feel comfortable so that's all good there is only one condition it can cope up with the wind it can cope up with the sun you're absolutely fine it can cope up with the lower temperatures that's good there is one condition that i think it's not really suitable for this hoodie and it's a rain why it is so it's because exactly because of this hoodie you cannot remove it and when you put the rain jacket on you i'm just too lazy to show it to you but you can imagine the the hoodie will be outside and it can get wet it can get heavy it can get stinky afterwards so that's the only problem with this hoodie i believe that you might face or that you might have so these type of conditions are actually not really suitable and good now finally let's move to uh, positive and negative things i will start with the downside um, some of them some of the problems that i have found are silly and easy to fix some of them maybe not really anyway so first thing is these lenses um shoe lens or whatever it is um yeah if you don't have them um, 50 50 really uh they start to wave around and then they start to hit you into your helmet and uh, yeah it's a silly problem but it's there and it's easy to fix that's a good thing but yeah it can get annoying another another issue it's more significant and it's it has it is related to the price it's 269.99 euros on the official thrill with website and you need to check your local dealer uh, how much they charge you for this hoodie um, for me at the beginning it was a price that I thought it's like it's way too much expensive uh, but as it is always or in many many cases nothing good comes cheap you know so they are really using a good quality of fabrics um, it's really a professional high performance hoodie and as everything with a thrill of it you pay a little bit higher price 
but you get what you pay for. And same with this one, it's like four or five months that I'm wearing it now. There's nothing wrong with the hoodie and I'm really wearing it frequently. So it's a great investment that can stay with you for many, many years. I have a jeans from Trilobit that for the first three years, I didn't have any other pair of jeans and I wear them constantly and they are still with me and they are still good looking. So yeah, it's more expensive, but it's very, very durable. Next thing, well, it's kind of a silly problem, but it is, and I'm mentioning it. The box, can you see them? There's a lot of bugs there. So the season of the flies and bugs has just started and I was shooting some other videos, uh, riding around fields, tons of bugs are on me. Uh, it's very, very difficult to remove it from these fabrics. I'm using wet tissues, I'm using all kind of grandma tricks, but it's still quite difficult. That's one tiny issue, silly or not, it's your decision. But the second one is related to this. I put the hoodie and I was respecting all of the labels and all of the symbols on it. I put it into a washing machine, it's possible to do. Uh, 40 degrees is the maximum. I even flip it inside out and I was washing it like that. Well, one thing has happened, whole hoodie is good, everything, nothing is wrong, but this one, this reflective material, it's broken. It's not a big deal, you know, hopefully you can see it. It's not a big deal, don't get me wrong, but on a hoodie that is quite expensive, this thing should not happen. Well, there are two things how they can be avoided or what can be done better. First, maybe Trilobit can fix it somehow on, a, on, a, on their future products. Second, just avoid simply washing it at home. Take your hoodie once in a four or five months to the dry cleaning, pay some extra money and you can prevent this tiny damage. Now to the positive sides, I mean, what you want me to tell you? I absolutely like the hoodie. Uh, it's a great style. Plus what it's really good and I was focusing last maybe 10 rides on this how I do feel the hoodie itself, like really this, this part of the hoodie. Is it acts like really a big parachute or not? Actually, no. Uh, it's designed in a very good and smart way, so you don't really feel it, even when you are going 100, highly hypothetically, 180, 190 kilometers an hour. If you're going that fast, you don't feel that the hoodie is waving behind you or whatever. Uh, as I said, I love the style, I love the quality, I love the feeling that when I go to the city, when I go to the work, uh, I'm simply wearing something that is not really super bikeish looking. Really what I do like is the, the range of temperatures that this hoodie can cope up with. Uh, every one of us is different. Somebody likes to be more warm, somebody likes more cold and airish stuff. Um, but, but for me, uh, from the, let's say, 14 degrees up to 26, I do feel absolutely comfortable. The only thing is the weather like this, like that one. Hopefully I will not make an update for you how it behaves really in the rain. So yeah, I like how you can use the hoodie in really wide aspect of conditions and type of roads and everything. The last part is quite hard to explain, but for me, the, the, the weight, okay? Hoodie, it's quite, it's not light. It's not heavy, but you can really definitely feel it that, you, that it's on you, especially when you wear it in a, in a, in a hand, not really when it's on you. Uh, but I like this because I can really feel something it's around me, something it's protecting me. I, I like this kind of feeling. It's, it's really difficult to explain. The fit is like, it's, it is really tightly around you. So the first thing that is really good is that it's not really waving in the air. The second thing is like it really, it puts you together so you feel like you are protected. Additional bonus maybe if something wrong or bad happens to you on the road, they can easily pick you up because you will be more stick together. Yeah, that was silly. I'm sorry. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I think I have used everything that I know. I think I have shared everything that I know. If you have any questions, feel free to write them into the comments. I'm talking to every single one of you. So in case there are some questions and I'm able to answer, I will answer. If not, I will ask the guys from Trilobit. Hopefully they will help. Hit the subscribe, hit the notifications button so you are always informed and you are helping me to build this community so I can get more stuff from Trilobit. Hit the like or hit the dislike if you like. It's up to you. But most importantly, remember, always have fun.